Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Monday, October 1st, 2012. There's a lot to cover, so let's get started here. We'll jump right into the S&P 500 E-Mini Futures. What you're going to see is that the futures are trading higher by about 5.5 points at the moment, all the way up to 1440 per contract. So a decent little pop this morning on the futures. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of market moving events going on uh, right now, but uh, the futures are trading higher. Usually means the dollar is trading a little bit lower. We we'll take a look at the most current dollar contract, and you'll see the dollar has really been selling off overnight. It's only down about 10 cents, 11 cents at the moment. Not a big deal, but um, nonetheless, when the dollar goes down, the markets will inflate and catch a little bit of a bid higher, and that is the case this morning. Um, traders should realize that Mondays have a tendency to be on the light volume side. Uh, however, though, uh, most Mondays have been negative, not big, uh, not big down days by any stretch, but usually end negative. So we'll see how this plays out today. Uh, maybe this is a day where the market scratches out a positive game. But if the dollar starts to catch a bid and starts to move higher again, then I think traders should be a little bit more cautious and just realize that uh, the markets will pull back from this uh, pre-market float that we're getting, at least at the moment. A um, couple of things uh, to go over. One, I just want to talk about the European markets first. Uh, looks like some European data was released earlier. Um, nothing really great, but the markets are holding up fine. You have the German DAX up 1%. The CAC 40 is up 1.23%. Italy and Spain are both up, uh, and you have uh, basically no fear out there at the moment. So um, that's something we have to watch for. Gold is down a little bit this morning. I think it's down $4 at the moment to $1,770 an ounce. We'll take a look at the GLD, which is a proxy for gold. And you'll see the GLD right now trading around the 171.67 level. So it's down about uh, 30 cents or so from Friday's close. Not that big a deal that we could make out of. But if the dollar starts to go lower, gold should catch a bid. If the dollar starts to move higher, gold should fade and possibly decline a little bit. Um, you also have oil down this morning around, uh, it's lower by about 38 cents on the light sweet crude contract to 91.81 a barrel. Uh, let's take a look at USO, which is a good proxy for oil, or at least light sweet crude. That's trading at $34.03. It closed basically at 34.12. So pretty much flat from where it opened, not that big of a move. But once again, it's all about the dollar. If the dollar catches a bid, then watch oil uh, start to sell off. If the dollar starts to decline, then oil will probably inflate and trade a little bit higher. Oil is still at a real sensitive point in the chart right here. Uh, according to the daily chart, it does look a little bit on the weaker side. So you want to be a little bit careful there with oil overall. Um, in the stocks in the news today, there's not too many. But one stock that is in the news is uh, the CRDN, Ceradyne. Um, this stock was bought out, I think, by 3M this morning. And you can see it's trading up here all the way at $34.95. So a real good pop. There's nothing to do here. Um, if you own it, congratulations. If you don't, you just leave it alone. There's not a lot you can do with it here. Let it base sideways. Um, there's just uh, it, it's a takeover, and, and that's all there is. That looks like a pretty hefty takeover, too. Nice premium there. Um, by 3M, but there's not a lot you could do with it. The only other stock I really saw active this morning was Baidu. Baidu is trading a little bit lower to 1450 after closing on Friday, I believe, at 116.89. So this is trading down a couple bucks, but there's no real um, supportive level that I see at the moment. So I would just leave the stock alone at the moment and wait for the market to open and see how it plays out uh, once the opening bell rings. But we don't have a lot of market movers, at least ahead of the opening bell today. And that's common on, on a Monday. There's also a couple of other takeovers. Um, I think uh, Honeywell took somebody over. Uh, so you have some movers out there. But uh, again, I'm not seeing anything in the way of gap ups or gap downs that really look attractive to me uh, in the market for trades this morning. So we'll leave it at that. We'll keep it a, a nice, quiet day today. Um, the one thing you want to watch closely, though, is the U.S. dollar index, and the markets will generally do um, opposite of the dollar. Uh, something else that I just want to give you a heads up with um, before we step off here. Um, 
One, the first thing is Ben Bernanke is scheduled to speak at 12.30 this afternoon. So you're going to have a 12.30 East Coast time speech given by Ben Bernanke. Um, everybody should be aware of that. R normally the markets will hold up into any speech that he releases. I don't think he's going to say anything bad. I think the speech is simply on monetary policy that they use. Um, so, again, the Fed seems to be coming more and more out of the closet um, talking about what they do. But yeah, anyway, you slice or dice it when he speaks, the market generally will get a bid. And he is scheduled to speak at 12.30 East Coast time in the States. So just um, take that into consideration. Uh, ben Bernanke will be speaking this afternoon at 12.30. And the markets have a tendency to stay buoyant while the Fed chairman does speak. Um, as long as there's printing going on and money printing, the markets will generally hold up pretty well. Also, I just want to point out that the Shanghai Index will also be closed this week for holiday. So um, just take that into consideration as well. Chinese ADRs, um, they'll fly around a little bit. Um, you want to watch them there. But ultimately, the Shanghai Index will be closed. I believe it's for five days. So uh, they will not open again until Friday or either next Monday. So um, just keep that in mind as well. So we're not a lot. there's not a lot we're going to do with these Asian or these Chinese ADRs, I should say, at the moment um, going forward. Uh, basically, that's about it. Nikkei index, Nikkei 225, was a little bit on the weaker side. So be careful with the uh, with the Japanese ADRs. They could be under a little bit of pressure, especially if the U.S. markets start to fade. But I think the markets probably hold in there pretty well until Ben Bernanke speaks, and that's, again, at 1230. All right, so we'll keep today's um, pre-market news and views video pretty quiet, pretty, pretty short, and um, we'll see how this market uh, plays out going forward. There doesn't seem to be uh, a lot happening in the pre-market, but nonetheless, the markets are up, and um, that is generally the case anytime the Fed chairman is scheduled to speak on that day. All right, with that said, everybody have a great trading day, great morning, great afternoon, and we'll see you on the charts tomorrow. Take care, everyone.